time is now On everything Took my heart away from money I ain't interested in fame And I pray that never change Ambition is priceless It's something that's in your veins And I put that on my name my name is Naran Poller, owner of Ambitious Inc., a screen printing and embroidery company, to be more specific. Um, we've been in business, we're in our fifth year now. Um, this is our second location. We're located downtown Cleveland, 1624 St. Clair. How has the uh, virus, how's it affected your business? The coronavirus has, has, for the most part, brought my business to a screeching halt. You know, you know uh, a lot of my Customers are schools, churches, you know, if you have an event, um, indoor event, outdoor event, uh, you know, a lot of that stuff has been postponed and just canceled, you know what I mean? So, and I'm a very, very small business. And uh, yeah, and a lot of my clients are small business owners as well. So, you know, they don't have a need, obviously. So, and if they don't have a need, I don't get to work. What's your take on the situation? Uh how do you think you can contribute to support and help other small businesses? Or bring um, man, I think that's a, that's it's, it's hard to say what what you can do to help. I mean, I, I guess you know, stay in the house. Essentially, you know, that's that's the instructions we've been given to stay in the house. Um, it's hard for me even because. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm kind of used to running around and running my business and wearing a lot of different hats and doing a lot of different things. And I never really lived a sedentary lifestyle. So now it's just like sit down in the house and that's cool and I can do that. And, um, you know, but um, I think that that is how we we all kind of have to approach it to be, you know, aid in, in, in helping remedy the world, essentially. You know, stay in the house, quarantine, and let this thing pass if it's going to pass or you know, I've, I, I, we've never, we have, have we ever seen anything like this? I mean, I've never seen anything like this in my lifetime. I'm 43 years young. Um, and uh, they've canceled all major sporting events, all minor sporting events. Everything is canceled. Everything is canceled. And that's, that's just wild to me. Um, so. You know, that's part and parcel why I kind of put this shirt together because the people who are um, at work and who are on the front line, like, you know, who are essential AF to me, um, I just wanted to make these available for them. Um, and then, you know, people in the house too, because you're still essential, you know what I'm saying? Like mothers, fathers, you know what I'm saying? Grandparents, we're all essential as what, you know what I mean? And um, it's important that we know that because for me being a business owner, bro, like it's easy. It's easy. Like I've never been like a depressed dude, like, but it's easy to get into like depression. Like this stuff weighs on you. You know what I mean? When your lively, livelihood is, is compromised, you know, I, uh, I come to work every day, you know, try to make an honest living and, and it's been compromised and it's, it's, it's outside of what I do. Like I, I didn't do this. You know what I mean? So. It's a lot to consider, especially when you, you no one knows and there, there's so many unknowns. I think that um, is really, you know, gave way to panic in a lot of ways because, I mean, you see the death toll rising, you know what I'm saying? Those people infected rising. Um, it's a lot for everybody. You know what I mean? This is and it, it ain't a Cleveland thing. It ain't a United States thing. It's a world thing. It's a world thing. So, I mean, essentially, we have to we have to moving beyond this. We have to we have to consider how we live our lives. How are we going to go for how are we going to, you know. What's your plans for uh, after everything passes over or they uh, announce it clear? What's your plans for personal, I guess, business? Um, so I've been spending. <laughs> I've probably, I've probably been spending way too much time, honestly, watching TV. To be entirely honest with you, watching TV and eating. Like, I've put on weight that, um, <laughs> that I didn't plan on. And um, so, right out the gate, I'm, 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 gonna, 
I'm gonna get to work in terms of working out, you know, my diet, um, because a lot of this stuff is, you know, a lot of people affected by this have pre-existing conditions. They talked about diabetes, uh, well, asthma, you can't really control. Um, but a lot of those other pre-existing conditions you can kind of control with your diet. And, and that's what's kind of coming out of this. It's like, we'll eat, you know, a, a ton of, uh, uh, garlic and ginger and you know all of the the, the smart foods and, and 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 all of the things that's gonna feed your immune system so it's just like do you do you take on those behaviors and then go back to eating trash and, and being that way um, so but that's just one side of it like like professionally in business uh, you kind of just gonna have to see what's up after the smoke clears, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can't make any money, you can't pay your bills and you're renting a location, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we have to assess the damage once the smoke clears, you know? I would love to say that, uh, you know, we're coming back bigger and better and that's, that's truly my attitude, but at the same time, we have to wait and see, you know? Um, but I, I believe, honestly, that, that this too shall pass and, you know, um, those of us who have taken the necessary precautions will come out clean on the other side of this. You know, why is it an intelligent? Yeah, this is this 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 whole coronavirus uh, is is putting everybody to to the test. You know what I mean? Like everything is being challenged, and, and uh, I just want everybody to be encouraged, stay encouraged. You know, try not to take any unnecessary chances because you're not just putting yourself at risk, you're putting your family at risk, you know, you're putting your loved ones at risk, you know, um, and we all have elders in our families, you know what I mean? No, none of us are in the world alone. So um, we just have to be mindful. I mean, you know, even a neighbor, you know, we just have to be neighborly, you know, and kind of stay in the house and check on each other from afar, you know what I'm saying? Call, you know, wave at a distance, emails, whatever we have to do. To, uh, to protect each other, but at the same time get closer because I believe we can get closer in a time like this. Even though we're supposed to social distance, this is, this is a real time for like us to get closer in our homes, even though it's just like, man, I get, you know, you, you get tired, you know, sharing space like that, but um, you can definitely get closer, man. Calling, checking on your relatives, younger and older, who you haven't probably speaking, spoken to in a year or so. You know what I mean? Call those people, check on them. You know what I'm saying? Because they're affected by this too. Um, and I would just like to encourage any, all, you know, all, all the entrepreneurs, you know, large and small to just, you know, to stay encouraged. You know what I mean? I know it ain't easy. I know it's hard, man. Like a lot of people's doors have closed um, already and they ain't coming back. Bro, I believe honestly, wholeheartedly, man, that it's something beautiful waiting on the other side of this. So, and I'm, I'm encouraged by that, for sure. I, I don't feel like this is doomsday at all. Like, nah, nah. It's a wake up call, for sure. But it ain't doomsday, not for the world. I'm a screen printer, you know? I'm, a, uh, I'm an entrepreneur, you know what I mean? I, I, I wanted to be in business for myself, um, so I invested my money where my passions were. I'm here, and um, I like to be able to do business, you know, at a, at a high level beyond the virus. You know what I'm saying? So I just designed this this hoodie earlier today. Just whipped up the hat a little bit ago, and um, selling it as a combo: a hat, sweatshirt, and a T-shirt. Uh, for 40 bucks, 10% uh, of the proceeds will go to our local food bank. And um, that's how we're looking to contribute, man. Looking how we're trying to be a part of the solution. You know, some people have absolutely nothing. It was already, it was already a tough time. We were already, you know what I'm saying, struggling to make ends meet before Corona touched down. You know what I'm saying? It's the top of the year, coming right off of uh, New Year's, Christmas, tax time. You know what I'm saying? We already pinching pennies, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, business is starting to ramp back up. You know, this is my busy time. This is the time where I look to do the, the bulk of my business and set me up for the summer and then for the fall and then for the winter. You know what I'm saying? We had a rough winter. We had a rough fall. 
we need this time right now to kind of bounce back. Um, so it's, 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 it's challenging times, man, challenging times, challenging times ahead. But I believe that, you know, we're, we're built for it. You know what I mean? I believe each and every one of us is built for the times we're going through, for sure. And uh, again, my name is Naron Pollard, owner of Ambitious Inc.